היי, אני ניר משקובסקי, גרופ פרוגרם מנג'ר for Azure App Service Web Apps. Today, I will give you a quick taste of the App Service Web App capabilities. In this video, I will quickly go through why App Service is an awesome developer experience that truly scales. We will cover why App Service is needed, what is App Service, and what are App Service Web Apps and how they scale. Finally, I will show you how easy it is to get started for free. The availability of cloud-scale computing and the abundance of different form factor devices allowed an unprecedented opportunity for creating data-driven business models and for empowering employees of existing businesses to do more meaningful, efficient work. Businesses today create engaging customer experiences on multiple devices, analyze user behavior, and provide their employees with new and smarter tools to leverage customer intelligence and to optimize their available resources. This universe of apps keep going and is never static. To be successful, organizations need to have access to massive and scalable compute resources, and they need to be able to quickly iterate on their application experience in order, in order to survive in a market where competitors are typically just one click away. Azure App Service addresses the need to iterate quickly without having to worry about infrastructure or about plumbing. Azure App Service offers everything you need to build web apps in .NET, PHP, Node.js, Java, and Python, ability to add data backends, push notification, and user authentication to mobile apps, ability to quickly create and manage APIs for your customers. And finally, a way to connect your web, mobile, and API apps to enterprise application and software as a service solutions. App service apps are built on a truly scalable Azure platform that features more locations than Google and Amazon combined, 20 available across regions, diverse SKU selections starting with low-cost options all the way to a private scale unit, configurable auto-scaling based on the application needs, and redundancy and load balancing to let you run one app in many locations. But as I mentioned before, this is more than just about scale. Azure App Service addresses the need to iterate quickly, use familiar tooling, and collaborate with other members of the development team. Developers can select between several source control systems, TFS, GitHub, Bitbucket, and popular file sharing services such as OneDrive and Dropbox and leverage site slots to test apps before they go to production. You can use Visual Studio performance testing to validate your app performance and the robust set of available troubleshooting tools to diagnose issues. You can even use a remote debugger to fix bugs directly in the cloud. Now, let me show you how easy it is to create a free app in the cloud so you and your colleagues can get a taste of the platform. I will start by going to tryupservice.azure.com. We have created this site to allow for quick experimentation with the platform. I will select a web app, hit the next button. I will select ASP.NET starter site and hit the create button. I'll be prompted to log in with some of my credentials and I will select my Facebook credentials. We are not saving any of your Facebook information. An application is now being created without the need to provide a credit card number or any private information. What we have now is a web application based on the ASP.NET starter template, which is available to you uh, to interact with the platform. So let's hit the URL to the app, and we see this is a very simple template. And now let's go back and see what we can do with it. The first thing we can do is make a change using Visual Studio Online, codenamed Monaco. I will go ahead to the default.cshtml file and make a change to the, to the title. I've just made a change, didn't need to do any saving, and when I go back and refresh my app, we will see the change. Hello demo. So in this case, I just edited the web app online 
using uh, our built-in online editor. In some cases, I might want to use Visual Studio. So what I can go ahead and do is download the web application content to my local drive. And I can open it with Visual Studio. As you can see, this is the application we've just seen online. And we can see the change that we've just made. Now, we need to be able to publish this application to the cloud. I will go back to the Try It Now page, and I will download my publishing profile. The publishing profile is a file that allows me access to be able to push bits to my cloud application. I will go back to Visual Studio and configure the Publish. I will hit the Publish Web App menu option and import the publishing profile we just downloaded. These are all the credentials for publishing to my web application and I can hit the Validate Connection button to make sure everything works correctly. Now I will hit the Publish button. Visual Studio will use the Web Deploy protocol to push the bits and build the application up in the cloud. Visual Studio now launches the browser and shows us the application. As you can see, we have the bits that we just changed online, saying hello demo. I will now make a change in Visual Studio. Let's make a quick change here. and save our file and publish again. As you can see, the text that I've changed locally is now changed online. What I've just shown you is the capability to publish a web app from Visual Studio directly into the cloud and to create a web app very quickly in order to experiment. The Try It Now page provides you with many templates that you can use uh, to play and learn about web apps like PHP, Python, and Node. We hope you will give it a try. Today, I have shown you how easy it is to get started on a powerful, truly scalable cloud application. Give it a try at https tryupservice.azure.com and learn more on azure.microsoft.com. Thank you very much.